So we are at <clears throat> Sharps Ridge Veterans Memorial Park. What's left of it anyway. It's under uh, construction right now. So we didn't get to go to the good area where we could see some of the cooler stuff. Here's a small uh, tower. Um, that Peyton's currently investigating. Peyton, where were you at? Sharps Ridge! Wyatt, what do you think about this place? Great. It's and, great. And on the way here... There's we, a small trail down there. But on the way here, we... a good view of things. Some bees around the bench there. Flying around. Don't go rolling down that hill, Peyton. Stay back here. Oh, yeah. Got a good view of the interstate here. There's a train. It's uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. The other views that they had closed off, you could see the Sun Sphere and some of the more impressive sites of Knoxville. Uh, no motor vehicles, but we have a motor vehicle. I'm assuming it means no motor vehicles careening down through the trees. Uh, it's a trail down Let's here. Let's just go see what Sharks Red map looks like. Yeah. We can read this sign. See what it says. There's probably some... Vet Veterans Memorial Park. Probably some sketchy people. Hey, looks like there's a pile of crap right there you might want to step on. It's probably Let's human feces would be my guess. Let's go down the Good, pretty good map of the area. Yeah. We didn't really come uh, prepared for hiking. I'm in my flip flops, so. But we can go down the trail a little bit and get a kind of a sense of what it's like. Whoa. I mean, why? I mean. The only person that can stop us is the serial killer that lives down here, but... Dad, don't try to stop us. Can't jump out of your shell. Hey, Dad, are you sure there's people around here? Yeah, that's why there's a trail here. Hey, wait, hey Peyton, wait up for us. We don't... I see them. What do you see? Let's investigate. Well, if you all are anything like me, poison ivy probably isn't going to bother you. Ooh, it's a bike trail, too. Well, no, I guess that's just a walking thing, but. Oh, yeah, it's a bicycle trail. Bicycles are right across that board. Get a good jump off. It's pretty neat. I guess they'll come down through that area. But it's pretty out here though, isn't it? Or it's down in that area. I don't yeah. know. I go back home. Oh, wait a second. Let's look. So the bicycles. You go on this. Yep. And you can walk across it if you want to. Yeah. You ain't gonna bother anybody. Yeah, and there's only like a few bears. You're uh, trying to scare us. Uh, I think they've only ate two or three kids, though. Don't try to scare us. <laughs> Pay him, Luke. 
stay in this shell until we're back up. Peyton, do you like this place? Yeah. <laughs> you seem unsure. I see some. Can go this. I never. Yeah. Wait, don't go down. Right. This thing is, this trail's called Nightfall Downhill. Or DH. It's an extreme biking trail, apparently. Oh! <clears throat> So it's not for novices. Wait, Peyton, this isn't a bicycle trail. It could be. I mean, the yeah. Human, the humans can still go down it. Just depends on how good you are, I guess. It's pretty easy to walk. Uh, so some bike racing events in the area and the dates. It's pretty cool though. Yeah. I would like to hike the whole trail, but Wait. Mama and Benjamin are waiting up at the car. I hope that was a rooster and not a. Oh. Let's walk back up and check that sound out. Mm. Yeah, but I'm pleasantly surprised. I like this place. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, a bunch of... This thing is sick. Wait. He's playing on it. <laughs> Alright, oh. let's head back to the vehicle. Hurry. Ooh, there's another pile of poop. I wonder what's pooping. What? Oh, I know. <clears throat> Seems like something pretty large. I know. Did you see that pile of poop back there? What? Mm -hmm. The big brown. Oh, yeah. I'd say a pretty large animal made that. It could be the wampus cat. <clears throat> this may be where the wampus cat's been hiding all this time, boys. Who knows? Broken glass on the trail. <laughs> yeah, I'm allergic to some plant down here, apparently. Hey, do we make... Uh, can I get your phone? Mama. So that we can say... What do you want to say? Thank you, thank you for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button. And next year we're making a new video. Next year, I plan to make a few more this year. Yeah. What about you, Wyatt? You got any closing remarks? Yeah. What do you have to say? I thought you had something to say. Oh. See you next time. <laughs> so this is Telescript's cable TV company. Interesting. That is tall. Tallest one is over there. Uh, well, I think those are the maybe the third tallest. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed our little exploration of Sharps Ridge. Um, I'd honestly, <clears throat> to the best of my knowledge, I've never been to Sharps Ridge before. Um, it was under construction, so obviously wasn't see, wasn't able to see all of it that um, we could have seen. Uh, the view was spectacular, but there was a large construction project going on at the time they had the viewing area there's an overlook that was roped off but you could see the whole city of knoxville it was beautiful but um uh, i didn't really get a chance to film that i guess i could have filmed it from the car when i was driving by but it was a narrow passage that they had blocked off so 
you know. But I did uh, notice while we were driving around that there was feces, scat on the ground. Uh, it didn't look like dog feces. I mean, it could have been human. I mean, who knows? But, you know, I don't want to speculate myself to death and, you know, be overly dramatic, but there's a creature that we've been trying to find besides Bigfoot for a long time, and that's the Wampus Cat. And being closer to downtown than what we usually film, um, it might make sense that that could be the wampus cat because even though I was introduced to the wampus cat through my mom and uh, a story she told where she witnessed the wampus cat, uh, the first stories other than Indian legends, the first stories um, that I read about the Wampus Cat originated from the Knoxville area around UT's campuses, uh, the UT campus uh, on the hill a, a long time ago. There's this place called the hill on the UT campus and uh, people seeing a six foot upright cat creature um so maybe being closer to downtown like we were at sharps ridge i mean we're not right on it but we're 10 15 minutes away from it closer than that as the bird flies maybe maybe that was evidence of uh the wampus cat being nearby uh i didn't see any wildlife really other than bees um but I, I have a theory that the wampus cat is nocturnal so maybe that was just evidence that it's in the area you know i didn't taste it see you know what the dietary uh output of this animal was but you know being an optimistic uh cryptid investigator i'm gonna chalk that one up to wampus cat scat and uh that uh we're gaining on him i think we're gonna see him before before this is up uh, but thank you for watching the video. I hope you're entertained. Uh, <clears throat> if anything, if we don't find these creatures that do exist, if we don't find them, if anything, we're getting to places that we're, we've never been before. Uh, so that's good for us. And some people, you know, there was a time uh, last year, the three years before that, where I was really down I had very bad hip pain and I couldn't get out much and I loved watching YouTube videos where these people would explore these places that I'd never been before and I couldn't walk around and look at these places so maybe there's somebody like that that's watching our videos and can't get around and can't walk these little trails and look for it and Maybe it's good for you to see it. Maybe it's bringing you happiness like uh, it brought me. So if it's something like that, then it's worth it. But uh, tune in. We're going to bring some more videos to you. Uh, we had my oldest son, Ben, today. So he was kind of... Um, uh, he, he has autism. And uh, he was kind of in an irritated mood and didn't really want to do much today so we kind of had to cut it shorter than we would like to have cut it but um uh, we're gonna get him home but i really do hope these 
videos bring you some type of happiness. I know it brings us happiness to make them. And uh, as Peyton said earlier, like and subscribe, share our videos, leave comments, let us know. Um, you know, give us suggestions of places you'd like us to go. We'll we'll look it up. You know, as long as it's within range of what we can afford and gas for to get to, we'll we'll go check it out. And uh, but thank you, and uh, stay tuned. We got more videos coming. Obviously, we got the podcast going. Uh, I hope you watched uh, yesterday's podcast on Boggy Creek Creature. And uh, we'll get back to filming some more videos very soon. Thank you.